the shifter feels Cause tonight is the night that we make it real Gonna take you for a ride in my brand new car so I recently published a video about the Universal Studios Orlando Cabana Bay Beach Resort, which is a Universal Hotel at uh, Universal Orlando. Okay, I am super excited. I just arrived at Cabana Bay. It's one of like their more economy moderate hotels and it's, and it's called Cabana Bay Beach Resort at Universal. So I posted a video. I thought it was a very, you know, honest, well put together video, the pros and the cons. I didn't like completely bash it. I talked about pros. I, I, I talked about like 10 different points or so in the video and many of them were positive and some were negative. I gave a very honest review of the hotel from staying there, pros and cons. And again, like I've talked about in a lot of my videos, a lot of these vloggers and live streamers are completely fake. That's how they're coming off. They want it to be 110% positive. I can't say one negative thing because I need to be on the good side of the theme park. That way I get perks. And and um, I told it as it was, the pros and the cons. And I can't help but notice that I feel like Universal Studios has responded to that. And they have responded by publishing their own professionally constructed commercial where they had a actor come to the hotel, full face of hair, makeup, costume, lighting, sun shields, uh, professional camera equipment. How do I know this? Because I've been in the entertainment industry. I've worked in the entertainment industry. I've been on professional film and movie sets. I've been on, uh, on TV stations. Uh, sound set. So I have worked in, in professional film and television where I am aware of the quality of film and what film looks like when it's filmed and produced in a certain manner. Like right now, for example, I'm filming on a Sony ZV-1 and you can tell the quality is different than, for example, when I film on a phone. And uh, the same way I can tell as someone who's worked in film the quality difference, I can tell the difference that in this video that Universal produced, it was a professionally constructed video. And why wouldn't it be if they were making a commercial to then put onto their YouTube channel promoting Cabana Bay. My point in mentioning that is if you go back and you look at my footage from Cabana Bay, uh, the Sony ZV-1 picks up a very realistic footage of, of reality and life. And I can't help but notice that the film of their Universal Studios Orlando professionally done commercial showing you why you should stay there, it doesn't look like the reality when you go to the hotel. The film is overly saturated. The colors in the film when you're watching the commercial commercial don't match the reality of what you're going to get if you were to actually stay there. Whereas I feel if Sony ZV-1 actually picks up a more realistic vibe of what life and, and something you're trying to show is. And um, so they put out this commercial, extremely professionally done. They were probably using, you know, like a ridiculously expensive camera to give this over the top appearance that Cabana Bay kind of giving is something it's not, you know, overly saturated. Look at the colors and everything. And in reality, that's not what it looks like. And I kind of feel like it was a response to my video. Um, yeah, there, there's reasons, other reasons why I feel like it was a response. Uh, but I felt like they were responding via their commercial about why you should stay there. Cause I guess they saw my video. I, I know they saw my video, <laughs> let's just say. Um, so it's not the reality. You gotta do your own research people. You gotta do your own research. Like I always say, don't, you shouldn't trust only my footage. You shouldn't be like, oh, she says this. No, do your own research, go on sites and you know, explore other people's opinions. But you know, they're making it seem like something it's not. The other thing they did in the video was they showed that the bowling alley was like the coolest thing ever. They're like, look how happening it is. It's like, those were extras for the commercial, I'm sure. It's like, and, and look how bright and pretty and cheery it is. That place was so dreary. I think that the bowling alley was like some space that they filled that they didn't know what to do with it because when you go up to the bowling alley, like it's there, it exists, but it's dreary. It's dreary. It's dark. It's gloomy up there. If you go up there, you're like, and you kind of like feel like, oh, I don't want to be up here. I want to go back down where like people are actually engaging in the lobby or the Starbucks area, you go up there and you're like, oh, this is depressing up here. So like they made it seem in the commercial, it was like this fun happening place. It's like, no, the bowling alley is something like, it's just kind of like a lost cause. I don't think they know what to do with the space up there. And it's like, oh, we'll make it a bowling alley. It's like, yeah, but the commercial did not match the reality of the hotel. Watch my video on the pros and cons of Cabana Bay. I think I told it very honestly. I didn't bash it completely. I gave the cons, but I also mentioned quite a few pros. But in this commercial, they're like, it's awesome. Look how colorful this is look at the bowling alley it's like that, that, that's not true no look at my footage look at other people's footage you'll see that it doesn't match but yeah i guess they responded oh well <laughs>
I also found it interesting that they went out of their way to mention how the hotel has very close proxi proximity, and that is true, to walking directly into Volcano Bay, and that is true. But I found it interesting that they went out of their way to not mention the issue that I talked about, which is the hotel has a very bad situation regarding their walking path. And I, in my videos, I talked about why you should not use the walking path and you should go on the bus instead. And they went out of their way to mention the Volcano Bay, but they made sure not to mention the the walking path at Cabana Bay because you'll have to watch that video. You know why it's bad. But um, I found that interesting. They didn't want to show you the zoom in of what that walking path looks like, which is, is special. Yeah. Now, you got to do your own research. For example, when I was at Cabana Bay, I think it was on my first or second night, there was like a man who was probably in his 30s with his father and they had uh, had one too many and they were doing like a Lee Ray, Lee Ray race through the gift shop. Oh. Cupid, Cupid, oh. Santa's kisses.